three tough defeats, three games to go on paper. I suppose it looks like there's nothing to play for, but what are you guys hoping to achieve over the next few weeks? Yeah, obviously as a group we're bitterly disappointed about uh, the Challenge Cup, but uh, and you know I know the Rainbow Cup has been slightly disjointed with South African teams being in and out, but I guess just on a personal level we want to go out and uh, put out a performance that we are proud of and that you know the people watching at home are proud of. Rob, hi, sorry, it's Michael Corker from um, RT here. How are you? Um, how, how disappointing or how disappointed have you been as a group, as a collective group, with your performances over the last couple of weeks? I mean, do you feel that there's been a maybe a slight kind of hangover? In terms of even the emotion and trying to deal with the emotion of having lost to, to Leicester in that um, in that Challenge Cup game. Yeah, the performance certainly didn't uh, reflect the the effort we've put in over the whole season, and, and I'd be lying if, if I said we weren't weren't gutted. So definitely, we're trying to pick ourselves up. But no, we're not we're not feeling sorry for ourselves. We're just looking looking to the next game and trying to to right those wrongs. Rob, can I just ask you, we heard from Dan after the last game on Friday there, and he thought it was going to be a challenge for him to maybe motivate you guys to get you feeling really motivated and happy to head into these final few games. I know you talked about it there, you're playing for pride, but just personally, how do you take that on board to, to really head into these games with the same intensity when, I suppose, with respect to the Rainbow Cup, it just isn't as prestigious as what you were playing for a few months ago? Yeah, no, it's not as it's not as big a deal, I guess, as the Challenge Cup and and the, you know the the Pro 14 season has gone by. But they're still inter pros, you know. They're still big games, and they're games we want to win. There's guys um, who are trying to push into the Ireland team, and and they want to get one over on the guys they're playing against. So no, it's it's definitely still as big a deal. And uh, you know, Dan has has got us up well for it. We've got ourselves up for it. You know, we're all disappointed as a group. It's not it's not on Dan to to get us cheated up for this match. So. No, with the fact that it's an under pro, it's it's very easy to get up for it. Hi Rob, uh, Leinster are a team that you guys have had many battles with down, down the years. How how much does that rivalry just get you guys going? Yeah, well, it's 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 no it's no doubt that they're the best team in the league, and it's it's going to be a very difficult challenge, especially down there. But yeah, massive rivalry, and as I said, you know, guys are pushing for similar spots in the Ireland team and. Uh, you know, we take it very personal when we go down to play there, and we want to we want to put out our our best foot forward. So, um, no, we're, we're very much excited. We, we love playing Leinster away. It's that's the biggest challenge in our in our league. So we're looking forward to it. Ronnie, should we expect uh, any changes this week in terms of either players getting a chance or new faces coming back from injury? And I suppose as well at this stage of the season, how do you get the balance right between mixing it up and the fact you're playing Leinster? Um. Yeah, I get. Yeah, um, I guess uh, like anything, when you you know when you lose games, you wanna yeah make make some changes. Um, so that, that's that that's one thing. Two, you're also forced at times by injury, and um, yeah, and then also I guess as you say, there's there's you know there's a bit of it that you know wanting to see different guys now coming into into the end of season for next season. So. Um, yeah, a, a, a bit of all of that will will have come into selection this week, um, and sort of finalising things, I guess, as of start of the week on learning that you know certain guys have been out and whatnot. So, yeah, mi 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 mix exact dead on mi a mixture of mixture of all those. Um, I'm just wondering, in terms of the the last three games, how concerned you are at you know the fact that you've lost. Three, three pretty decently big games, conceding quite a lot of points, and how do you try and rectify that going to the RDS, you know, to take on a, a team like Leinster? Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's it's never good anyway. Losing and and pro sport losing isn't um, yeah, isn't isn't pleasant. It's not the business, you know, of of losing. So yeah, look, I mean, it, it's been tough last last three weeks, as you say. It's yeah, losing any games are aren't good in pro sport but certainly they've been they've been big ones as you, as you say that you know a semi-finals gutting because you because it's a semi-final you miss out on on um on a final obviously the Connacht game was bitterly disappointing to you know losing to them and you know it's a inter pro and how it happened in the end you know be, be, being right at the death there and then then Munster you know going away and and losing to Munster and and as you say, conceding conceding heavily, um, 
isn't good. So it, it's a, yeah, I mean, look, it's a, it's a big challenge, isn't it? Like any team, if you've had the results we've had and you're facing, you know, Leinster away, they've just given Connacht 50. Um, it's a big challenge. It's always a big challenge at the RDS, but yeah, like anything, isn't it? It's made, it's made more, <laughs> made bigger because they, they've suddenly gone well. They've, you know, they lost two and then they give Len, Len, give Connacht 50. So they've, they've obviously, um, you know, reacted, reacted well. So it's a big challenge, but, um, you know, what, what can we do? We're, we're going to, we're going to turn up and give it, give, give it a hell of a crack and hopefully, Hopefully we, you know, we've we've got improvements. We've worked hard at this week. We've had some, you know, some some honest meetings. Um, yeah, as you'll often hear from, you know, from people after losses. So, yeah, it's a it's a challenge, but we're we're we're, we're going to go for it anyway. Exactly. Robbie, I suppose whenever you're looking at the last three games as a whole, are you looking more for a few individual players to put their hands up and? put their names forward more for next season or are you hoping to see more from a, a team perspective and a few better team performances over the last three games? That's a good question. It's definitely both. Um, both in the sense that, you know, any any time you play guys, let's say, especially younger guys, you know, you want them to put up the hand to go well, you know, build the squad, put pressure on older guys. That's a really important factor for young guys. Um you know, and, and selection, you know, shows that as well. You know, there's a reason, you know, Munster, we played a couple of the young guys as well. You know, we, we want to see that. Um, you know, we haven't kept selection the same over the last three weeks. So there, there definitely is an element of that. The the other one, obviously, which is just as important is you want to win games after losing for a team that's really important. So, you know, every game you want to win, obviously selection, you know, that... Um, yeah, brings different dynamics to to that, but it's really important for us to yeah, it's really important for us to win. Like it's it's not good losing. It's not good losing in pro sport, regardless of the competition, regardless of um, anything really. It's even if you you know you are bl blending for the future or planning for the future. It's it's really important to win, and it and it sucks. It's really not good when when you don't win. So yeah, both, a hundred percent, both. We 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 want to win. We want to get back on the horse. It's good culturally. It's good, good professionally. Good from a business, and uh, but also going forward, clearly into next season, um, it's really important, especially with you know our squad having, well, obviously the huge majority Irish guys, you know, local guys. We we want. It's important for our young guys to come through and have a good you know good system of that. As, as a sort of more experienced player, if, if you understand, I'm not suggesting you're old by any stretch of the imagination, but um, how, how, how can you share your experiences with particularly the younger fellas, you know, with the, with the kind of tough patch that they're going through at the moment, that it's, it's as important to, to, to keep working for to get through it? Yeah, I think yeah, that is a good question. It, it is tough and when you play rugby, you go through waves, you have periods of good good times where you're winning and everything's great and then sometimes uh, you get a couple of losses and it's it's tough and it's it's tough to be around but I think uh, one of the things we've tried to focus on is going back to the basics and uh, let the effort do the do the talking I mean the guys you can see sometimes the efforts there and sometimes uh, we're trying really hard but we just need to get on the same page and if we can do that um, we'll get positive results Hi, uh, Sam. Um, it's a hell of a time to come back into the team. I mean, Leinster, we all know, are the benchmark for a really high standard of European rugby in general. I mean, a bit of a difficult one, but what do you have to do to get a result down there? Uh, well, I don't know yet because I haven't. I've only played there once. Um, I played once at the RDS and uh, once at Aviva. But look, I'm excited to be back in. I'm excited. Uh, to be back playing after a, a stint out and it's I think the most positive thing for us is if we if we stick together and if we can get everyone on the same page with the effort and the standards that we want um, that's how you do it I mean the 
there's no doubt about it. It's a tough task, but the the tougher the task, the sweeter the victory. Sam, now, now that you are back, what are you hoping to achieve in these last three games personally uh, and potentially as a team? Uh, I think uh, putting a performance that myself and the team are proud of personally. I mean, the result will take care of itself if we can if we can get on the same page and and play the way we want to play. Uh, and then if after 80 minutes the the scoreboard's in our favour and we come off the field and we feel proud, I mean that's the most important thing.